Hi, this is a lesson on pseudocode and arrays, and it's lesson four of my pseudocode series. So, what are arrays? Well, they're a way of storing a set or a list of data. So, for example, to store 10 names, you could say have 10 variables, name one, name two, name three, and so on all the way to name 10. But an array declared as names, square brackets, 1 to 10, colon 10, and close the square brackets, would give you 10 blocks in which to store all the 10 names. And it's a much smarter way of working. So in an array, we talk about cells. So we've got names, square bracket, 1 to 4. And that would be an array with four cells. Or the price array has seven cells. Prices, um, square brackets, one colon seven. Now to store the data in a cell, we would say name square bracket one equals Kim. And then we would get the result as shown below. And we, we could carry on. Names two equals Jack. And then names three equals Jenny. And names four equals Michelle until we filled the whole array. So to input the data into an array, your pseudocode would look as follows. Program input data colon. You declare the array names square bracket one colon four. <clears throat> Close the square bracket. Then input names one. Input names square bracket two. Input names three. Input names four. And end. And if you typed in all the same names again, there's the result. But what about if you had 100 cells or 10,000 cells in your array? This could get quite tedious. So we're going to use a for loop to do input. This is what the program would look like in pseudocode. Program fill array colon, name square bracket 1 to 4, for count assign one to four, input name, name square bracket count equals name, next and end. Here are the variables that we're working with, and let's see how they will be filled as we go through the program. So when we start the for loop, count gets the value one. We input a name, say we type in tiger, then names count equals name, Count equals one, so names one equals tiger, and we copy the value tiger into cell one of names. To the top of the for loop, count goes to two. Input a name, Bo, names square bracket count equals name, which is names two equals name, Bo is copied into cell two. Back to the top of the for loop, Count gets the value 3. Input a name, mark. Names, square bracket, count equals name. Count is 3. So mark gets copied into cell 3. Back to the top of the loop. Increment the counter to 4. Input another name. And names, count equals name. So that would be cell 4. And that will then have filled the array. The after When we see next, we go back to the top of the for loop again. Count becomes 5. But at this stage, the program counter is, has been overshot. So the pseudocode keeps operating from under the next command, and the loop stops. What about if you have a program with two arrays? Here we've got program fill array, and then names one to four, marks, square bracket one to four, four count equals one to four, input name and mark, marks count equals name, and marks count equals mark. So we're going to have two arrays operating concurrently here. And um, how would this look? So we've got our counter, we've got the name variable, the mark variable, 
and then the names and the marks arrays. I'm not going to repeat everything, but just to show you quickly, count would be one at the beginning. We'd input a name, Alex, and a mark, 80. And then we would say names count equals names. So Alex goes into cell one of the names array and marks count equals mark. So 80 goes into cell one of the marks array. We would carry on in the same way until we filled the whole array, both of the arrays with data as, we, as it can be seen here. What about if we want to find the average of all the marks as we input them? So let's look at this program, program find average. We've again got two arrays, names square bracket one to four and marks square bracket one to four. Then we've got a total variable. We set it equal to zero. Our for loop counts from one to four. We input name and mark. Then we say names count equals name, marks count equals mark. Then we say total equals total plus mark. That's the new line in this program. We go next. And when the for loop has finished operating, we will say average equals total divide by four and output average. Now how this works, there are all our variables, the names and marks arrays, total which has been set to zero at the beginning, and then the average variable. We might input bill and 80 for the first name and the first mark. And then we will say total equals total plus mark. The total is already zero. So zero plus 80, which is the mark, will give us 80. So we then go back to the top of the loop. The counter goes to two. We then input another name and another mark. And then we say total equals total plus mark. So 80 plus 76 is going to give us 156. We then go back to the top of the loop, input a name and a mark, and then total equals total plus mark. 156 is the current total, plus 68 is going to give us 224. We go back to the top of the loop, the counter becomes four, and we input another name and another mark and then we say total equals total plus mark so 224 plus 65 is going to give me 289 if i go next i go to the top of the for loop but the counter becomes five and the loop ends we will now cal calculate the average so average equals total divided by four the result is 72,25 and we output the average. So you can see that a loop can be used very smartly to input lots of data into all the cells of an array and then work out the total if you're inputting marks or numbers of any kind as you go through the loop. It's your turn now. Um, here's an exercise for you to try out. So write pseudocode to input 20 names and two marks for each name. Use three arrays to store the data. Find the average of all the marks and display the average of all the marks. So you're going to need a names array, a mark one array, and a mark two array. I'm leaving the solution, this, the, the solution for the past example up so you can um, use, it, use it as an example and please pause the video now and I'm going to show you the solution. So this would be the solution. Names um, square bracket 1 colon 20, marks 1 to 20, marks 2, 1 to 20, total equals 0. Now we've got 20 marks so it's 4 count equals 1 to 20. Input name, comma, mark one, comma, mark two. Names count equals name. Name marks one square bracket count equals mark one. 
mark 2 square bracket count equals mark 2, total equals total plus mark 1 plus mark 2, and then the end of the for loop with the next, average equals total divided by 40. We've inputted 40 marks in total, so it's divided by 40, and then output average and end. And if you got that right, well done. And thank you. Keep practicing your pseudocode, and I'll see you next time.